if we spoke frankly of our region, it is a very complicated. Because, you know, dialogue between local authority and non-government organization. As for former Soviet countries, for example, as Belarus and Azerbaijan, non-government organization, for authorities, it is a non-government. It's against government, so it's as an enemy. So we cannot imagine dialogue and cooperation between local authorities, authorities, and civil society organization, non-government organization. For us, and majority of civil society institutions in our region, as for example me, it is come from the former dissidents movement in Soviet time. We also cannot think that we can cooperate with the local authorities when we see the criminals, horrible corruption, and mafia structure. So, it is a great possibility to have a, uh, information here how to work and how to cooperate local authorities, non-government organizations, civil society institutions in different countries in the world, in Africa, Latin America, Asia, and uh, to using the, this experience and this EU value and ideas which is bring. What I wait for future and what I will be want. First of all, it's necessary that during this dialogue, during this policy forum, we'll be understanding the difference between regions. Because, for example, yesterday we discussed the networks in Asia, in Latin Americas, but, for example, in Asia in Africa, civil society institutions working about 30, 40 years. But in Azerbaijan, Belarus, Armenia, after the fall of the Soviet Union, just about 15, 12 years. So we cannot speak about such great networks and such experience. And it's necessary that it will be put more attention for difference of region. We cannot be under one umbrella Exactly, that's the answer. And for future, maybe it may be used more internet and YouTube to put the ideas and discussion in internet that all organizations can be part of this process.